Whoa, who are you? So a pre-warning before we start this first reaction that this video does have a warning in regards to body shaming. So if this is something that may well affect you, I would click on the chapters below to the next part of this video. I'll give you two seconds to do that. We're now going to continue this reaction. This is Ella's emergency makeover. Okay. What we got then, y'all? What we got? Robo Girl Games. Robo Girl Games. I thought it'd be Robo Boy, but okay. No, I'm joking. It's good music. I like it. This is really nostalgic, dude. My God. Okay, so Ella totally humi humiliated herself. I can't even speak. By asking out the most popular boy in school to the dance. Now she's the laughing stock of the entire school. I'm not going to laugh because I feel for this person. Help make her beautiful before the dance to get revenge on her bullies. But you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be amazing. I'm going to make her beautiful. And hopefully you guys can too. Let's go. Alright. I, I love this music. It's so good, dude. The click on the glowing objects. Okay. She doesn't. She actually doesn't look that bad. She looks all right. She looks nice. Whoa, beauty is pain. Not very nice. She's got braces. Do you know what? I had braces once. So if anyone starts taking the pee out of that, do you know what? No, not very nice. At least she cleans her teeth, though. That's a bonus, right? Might have smelly breath, bro. Whoa. Did she just take her braces out? Uh-oh. But sorry, Ella. We tried to pull out your braces, but we pulled out your tooth. We tried to make you prettier, but now you're even uglier than before. You can never open your mouth around other people again. Let's still salvage what we can. Clean up that bloody blood. Clean up that ugly blood. Whoa. Better? Wow. So you got like this kind of like nice music, I guess. And then you've got this like the game is like having a go at Ella, like saying you're ugly. And it's just no, like it's not fair. Generally, I think she's actually OK. Actually, not that bad. She's actually OK looking, in my opinion. Like, I don't get it. You shouldn't frown, Ella. That causes wrinkles. I mean, you're going to make a frown by being a dick, right? Why do that? Feels bad. Well, what the hell? Time to choose an outfit. Okay, let's let's wait. Wait what? There's no way she'll look good in anything we put on her. Look at her, bruh. What? What that, bro? That is horrible. That is actually horrible. It's actually it's horrific. It really is horrific. I'm not even going to say that, but that's that's horrible, dude. The dance is in one month. She has one month to lose 20 pounds. Don't worry, I'll send you through time so you don't have to see Ella's gross body. These 30 days will be hell for her. Not at all. Oh, it's a tight day of the dance. Okay. So basically, the game is like gone from... It's like switched us to 30 days later then. To... Where the, the night of the dance that's really horrible though how it's like skipped it so like we didn't have to see things but like i don't see a problem with that i honestly don't but okay all right actually i don't really want to go anymore what why after all we've done i'm tired i'm hungry and i look disgusting but you don't, though, Ella. You don't. The problem is, is the game is, like, basically brainwashed her into thinking that she isn't good looking. And because she had a bit of weight on her, it was an issue. In my opinion, I don't see a problem with that. Everyone's their own person. It shouldn't matter what you look like. It honestly shouldn't. I, it's a load of BS. Nothing will make me look pretty. You look pretty anyway. You're not, you're not, and I don't want anyone to see me. You just want to stay home. Bruh. I'm not going to lie, but that actually was quite hard to react to. 
in my opinion. It really was. Because it's like, it just sh This is the thing, like, there are people out there that do this to people. If a young child played this game, and, you know, they were going through this situation, it could cause so many problems. Like, I'm not sure if this game is real, by the way. I don't know. I think this has been edited by the creator, I'm assuming. I don't know. But, like, some dark stuff, dude. Quite hard to react to. I'll be honest, it was. It wasn't It wasn't easy. We'll move on to the next video. Our next collection of videos we got to watch is a series called Poochie and Pansy. Now, I've only just been made aware of this, and to be honest, it's about two uh, cute dogs. They're supposed to be cute. And uh, they are meant to be best friends. That's all I know. But it's supposed to be quite creepy, a few jump scares and stuff. So let's check it out. This is what digital horror is all about, right? Checking out all this stuff. Poochie and Pansy. Cool. Let's do it. Let's see what's going on. So we're at part one, the quest for the Midnight Once upon Crown. A time, there were two puppies named Poochie and Pansy. They look so cute as Poochie well. Poochie and Pansy were best friends and always hung out together. Okay. One day, Poochie had something very important to tell Pansy. And what's that? Hey, Pansy, guess what? What, Poochie? I had a really weird dream last night. Oh, yeah. I had one, too. What was yours about, Poochie? It was about a kitten. He was locked in a tower, and an evil witch was trying to use him to find something called the Midnight Crown. I want a crown. Well, Poochie, I had the same dream. That means it must be real. The kitten must have been sending us a dream message. I'm going to agree with that. It must be, because if you got two best friends having the same dream, it's just a bit convenient, isn't it, in my opinion? But it just makes me think, like, it's a two dogs. And do there's always this thing where dogs and cats don't get on. I don't know. Is there a bit more to this? Let's see. Well, you know what that means. Yeah, we gotta go rescue the kitten. But where do we look? Let's go, Poochies. Well played. In Sufferdark, where all the evil witches live. All right. Yeah, you're probably right. And the quickest way to Sufferdark is through Batwing Cave. Well, come on. Let's head to Batwing Cave. Are we going to go and see Batman? <laughs> sorry, I just had to say it was just on my tongue, sorry. <laughs> and so they went to Batwing Cave. All right. So they live on Puppy Hill then. Yeah, but I'm not scared. Look, I think I see Freddy the Firefly. Hey, Poochie. Hey, Pansy. It's me, Freddy. What's going on, bro? I you guys could use my help. Let me show you the way to suffer dark. Let's go. Can we see this dude? To be continued. All right. Okay. Okay. That was really short for the first one. We have, like, a few more to watch yet. But, okay. So, that was okay. That was kind of cool. I didn't say this on the first video, but I love this music. Which is Danger in the Dark. We're going in that cave then. Poochie Batwing. and Pansy have reached Batwing Cave. Where it seems an old friend is there to help. Ready the Firefly. Hey, Poochie. Hey, Pansy. It's me, Freddy. Yo. I thought you guys could use my help. Let me show you the way to suffer dark. Okay. Thanks, Freddy. And thanks for meeting us at Batwing Cave today. With you lighting the way, our trip through the cave should be a breeze. Hopefully, yeah. Follow me, stay close, and watch out for rock bats. Okay. Hey, Pansy. You know rock bats can change their shape, right? So we better be careful if we see another Poochie. Or another Pansy. Yeah, that's oh, true. You could, you could, you could. Wait. Hey, Freddy, do you still have that golden seashell we found on Longway Road? Yeah, I love how shiny it is. Hmm. It wasn't golden. It was rainbow color. That's not Freddy. Whoa, what the this hell? Bad. Next tunnel on the right. Let's make a break for it. So what they're saying is this Flyfly fly isn't actually Freddy then because the previous what they what they spoke about is that they they said it was golden and it was shiny but actually it was rainbow color. So yeah, there's obviously something dodgy going on here and they're now going to run away by the looks of it. Okay. If they can. Oh god, it's getting dark all of a sudden. What and the hell? So they ran. Did they get away? Poochie? Pansy? Where did you go? I can't see anything. I wish I had better eyes. Please What's on with your eyes, then? Poochie. 
Lindsay, is that you? Oh, is that the real Freddy there? Hey! What happened? Rock bats ambushed me. And oh. Don't worry, Freddy. We'll get you out of here. No. Get out. It's There's a little bit a minute ago where you saw Pansy give that weird looking face where they said it could be to do with Freddy. And it was just the way that her their face dropped. And it, 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 yeah, it's kind of creepy, isn't it? It's just how, like, how they, I think they, deep down, they kind of knew that that f wasn't the original Freddy. It was a fake Freddy. But I want to know who that is now. It's a rock bat, but, like, what's their problem? Whoa. Oh, my God, dude. God, that was loud. Woo. Uh, uh, where? Where are we? Good question. Rock bats. Their stun venom must have knocked us out. Pansy, are you okay? Pansy? Pansy? Pansy, where are you? I feel so sad for Poochie. Look at his face. Oh my god, dude. He's without his best friend. By the looks of it. And you see his face, how sad he is. Dude, I feel bad. So we're moving on to chapter three. So this is the witch's bargain. Poochie and Pansy have made their way to Suffer Dark, where they finally confronted the witch. All right, okay. What we get? What's going to happen then? That's what I want to know. Pansy, then. where are you? Poochie. Oh no, Pansy! What are you doing up there? Poochie, help me! Pansy's Pansy, in a cage. How do I get you down from there? Whoa! Who are you? Welcome, Poochie. I must be the witch. Her voice is horrible. I don't know what else to do, Pansy. I don't know how else to save you. That's right. Just sit there and let me pull the eyes out of your head. Bro, what the hell? Are they actually gonna do it? Poochie's a fucking big man, dude. Look at his face. He's like... Oh, no. I feel sad. Hold on. Oh, no. What the hell? <laughs> Look at like that crying's horrible. And this witch can go... Oh, this witch is horrible, dude. She actually... The face creeps me out. But do you know what? It just proves how close their relationship is. Uh, in fact, all friendship or whatever. Because he's willing to go through that, you know, to save his friend, potentially. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. <laughs> Madness. What is that? Pansy got some kind of, like, energy. I think so. What the hell was that? This is chapter four, but this is subtitled. I think it might be in its like original form. Yeah, because the other ones were remastered, just to bear in mind, but yeah. So. Okay, so they defeated the witch, all right. This witch's eye. Okay. Whoa, what was, see that jump, that little seat, that little screen, whoa. All right, dude, bloody hell. Whoa, hello. They, they got out the cage. Okay. The kid, the, oh my god, dude, what the hell? That's creepy. So again, just to clarify, the first three were remasters. So this is like the original, it's going back sort of like original, but it's all the same story and stuff. But it's like, the quality is crazy. It's mad. <clears throat> it's all glitchy, bro. What the hell? Hide. Whoa! What is that? What is going on? And what is that? Find you? Yeah, find you. What the hell? 
Whoa, who the hell's- what the frick? This is a bit random. Where's Poochie and Pansy gone? <laughs> I'm joking, I don't- like what? Uh, every, everyone in your world is dead, but you. Only you exist. Do I? I mean, I hope not. Did- so, just to confirm, I don't know if I'm jumping the gun here. So, let's say this is a TV series, right? Let's just say it is, right? And then that is kind of like a takeover? Now on part five, but by the looks of this one, there isn't any title. So it's all kind of glitched out by the looks of it. And we've got this guy that we saw on number four, so... You can't hide. I can't hide. I mean, I can. I can hide away in my closet. <laughs> I don't even have a closet, to be fair, but there we are. Why is it all glitchy? What the hell? Whoa, what was that? Part 5 redacted. Actually looks like somebody from Squid Games, I'm not gonna lie. The kitten. <gasps> Yo, it's kitten boy. He's really cute, it's a ginger pussycat. Poochie looks so evil like that. Whoa, look at that image, guys. What the hell was that? I've just missed it, but look at that. It's really quick, but... I mean, you, you've just seen it there, but what the hell? Is that that cat evil? Right, what the hell? Oh, shit. Oh, my God, these faces creep me out. Whoa, all right, mate. Okay, you don't need to do that to me. I really question why I do these reactions. Remember, what's on TV is real. When you go outside and look at the rest of the world, that's what's make-believe. Whoa. So just to say, so there was a little bit back here. I think it's this bit here. You can see. So you've got like the real live version, right? And then when you get into it, you can see the drawing of... You can see it being drawn here. Weird. <clears throat> it's creepy. And after, obviously after that, it says, like, you know, the real world, blah, blah, blah. You can kind of see it now. We've got chapter six to watch next. Moving on to chapter six. It's called Message from the Redacted. So I don't really know what's going on here, but let's find out. It's glitching again, dude. Now that Pucci and Pans even rescued the kitten from Strife Tower, they have returned to Peppy Hill, where they await their next adventure. Okay, so they saved the kitten and they're going on their next adventure? Is that what, I'm, what we're hearing, I think? Oh, they got the... There he is. It's Puss Puss. What the hell? That's a random scroll. What the frick? Oh, I don't like these. Creep me out. I can't look at it. Sorry. They creep the hell out of me. Whoa, okay. Oh. What the hell is that thing? Oh man, really? Hold on, what was that? You must what? You must find someone to what, sorry?
you must find it to become free. Okay. Find what? Something in the video? I might be being a bit of a dumbass here, so if I am, just leave it in the comments and let me know, because there might be people that are watching this to understand it. I understand it to a degree, but if you know more, if you know more than me, shove it in the comments below. We're going to move on to the next chapter, chapter seven. This is the final chapter of this series, Poochie and Pansy. Let's see what's going on. It's again, it's all gone a bit crazy. The title's all glitched out. I don't know what's going on here. These last two videos have had no subs either, so I'll see a reason why, I guess. Oh my god, bro. They all look really cute just sat there, but you just know there's more to it. Whoa! All right, pussycat. All right, mate. Whoa! Oh my god! It's basically baiting you to go outside, and I don't really think I want to, to be honest. But there we are. <laughs> I think I might stay in for the rest of my life now. Oh my god. Whoa. That's a leech on that guy's arm. What the hell? A person's arm. David's mind traverses. His memories will help you. Yeah. I don't think I want him to. I honestly don't. So that was Poochie and Pansy. Okay. Very, very random. Definitely horror. Definitely digital horror. And if I'm honest, I swear that it was made in like it. The whole thing must have been made in like MS Paint. Which, like, if it was, that's like unreal. And like the anim the animation's great, obviously. But yeah, that was really, really good. Um, that was really good. I'll be fair. Um, I'm a little confused about it. To be fair, like, I think I might need to look into like the RAG of it because I know there is an ARG of this. Sorry, it's an ARG. I'm saying things wrong. I think there is one of it somewhere. So. I might need to have a look into it. Maybe we'll do a video going forward if you guys want me to do that. You know, you let me know if you want. If you want me to look into it more, then I'm open to do that. But that was Poochie and Pansy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. It's a bit different from my analog stuff. I've been doing a lot of analog horror, but digital horrors kind of... And these Flash games have really interested me recently. And there's actually quite a lot out there. It's just hard to find. It's lost media. So, probably why. But very, very well done. I hope you liked my reaction. Like and subscribe if you did. Go and check out the creators below as well in my description. And go and sub to their channels and whatever. I don't know if Poochie and Pansy is going to be ever made again. It's been like a long time since uh, the original series was done. Um, <clears throat> the ones that we did watch were remastered. I think one or two of them were the original. So it's kind of like in between it. But either way, very, very cool. And it was definitely worth a video to do. And I hope you guys enjoyed all of it, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Keep it locked in, peace out, and leave me alone.